welcome back to the gallery with me, the curator and host, Robert Cooper. Now, in the last episode, I spoke about my very first camera, the Nikon D50. And I showed some examples of photographs that I took when I first started my photography journey, and then recent photos that I took with that same camera. This episode, I'm gonna talk about another camera that I recently picked up, and that is this, the Canon EOS 50E, which is a film camera that came out at about 1995. I know a lot of film purists don't like these automatic film cameras. It has the autofocus and the automatic advance and the automatic rewind. But lately, I'm digging these automatic film cameras. Now, if you know anything about this camera, you know that it is called the Elon 2E here in America. But since I got this from a European site, it is the 50E. And this camera also has eye control autofocus. What is that you ask? Well, you're supposed to look inside the viewfinder and wherever you look, that's where the autofocus point will be and you can just take the picture that way. Does it work? Hell no. Okay, it works a little bit, but you gotta fool around with it and collaborate or collaborate. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word? I don't know. Configure it? No, calibrate. calibrate. You gotta calibrate and just keep on calibrating until it gets it correctly. I don't really use it that often, but it's something that's, I guess it was cool back in 1995. And it was so cool that they brought it back in the uh, mirrorless camera that Canon has out right now, the R3. It's got the updated eye control autofocus. Now I'm not gonna do a review on this camera because I don't do reviews. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna show you the photos that I took using this camera. I use two film stocks. I use the JCH Street Pan 400 black and white, and I use the Fujifilm Superior 400, which you can get at CVS for about $27 when it used to be $17. The price of film is going up because all the hipsters are running out buying film cameras. So sit back and enjoy the photos that I've taken using this Canon EOS 50E. Some of the photos I took up in uh, upstate New York at Blue Mountain Center. Others I just took walking around the streets of Troy, New York. So here you go. Photos that I have taken with the Canon EOS 50E. I hope you guys enjoyed that slideshow of the photos that I've taken with this Canon 50E. I have to admit, I actually enjoy using this camera. 
And I know that sounds corny. I always think that sounds corny when I hear photographers talk about how they had so much fun shooting this camera and it makes me want to go out. You should be having fun with any camera and want to go out and shoot with any camera. But I digress. I actually enjoyed this camera. I actually almost, keyword almost, like it just as much as my EOS 3, which I will talk about in another episode. So if you aren't doing so, please hit the subscribe button right now. Hit the like button also and drop me a comment and let me know what you think about the EOS 50E or the Elon 2E, whatever you want to call it, if you shoot with it yourself. Or if you have any recommendations about other film cameras you think I should check out. Also, let me know what you think about the pictures that I showed in this episode and let me know which ones are your favorites. You can see more of these photos if you follow me on Instagram on my film page, which is R. Cooper Shoots Film, or you can find other photos that I've taken on my main page, which is R. Cooper Photography. And if you want to watch this episode or any other episodes again on Instagram instead of YouTube, follow me at R. Cooper the gallery. I thank each and every last one of you for watching and for subscribing and leaving comments and all that other good stuff. Until the next time, blessed love.